I know it seems strange. You're uh, looking at this screen that says ran out of money at day 30. There's this game called Spent. Essentially, you get an extremely low income and the objective of the game is to make it to the end of the month. I ran out of day at the last day of the month. If you're like really poor or been through some extreme hardships, you should be able to get 30 days. Because <laughs> there's certain decisions that you just had to make. I mean, that used to be my life. I mean, it was just really eerie. I was playing the game and it hit me. There's a difference between doing that by choice and doing that out of necessity. If you want to learn how to thrive in the disruptive economy, enroll in Hustlers University today. Hit that green bar and you'll be good to go. So if you can go ahead and learn how to play this game out of choice, really ball down and get your monthly nut as low as possible, that will, that will, that will enable you to elevate. I mean, seriously. Because one of the biggest problems with people chasing dreams, trying to do something different, is they're trying to hold on to that lifestyle that you can't live the dream and chase the dream at the same time. One must precede the other. And in this case, if you don't have that dream now, you've got you to gotta chase the dream before you can start living it. Many people want to look really successful while trying to become successful. I can understand that to a degree, but you're better off stacking your chips and putting them places that they can make more chips. Because... I see some crazy stuff. I will give you an example. I've been doing a lot of research for a project I'm working on. And I've watched a lot of recession videos. Talked. It never occurs to these people that it's not going to get better. I have the frame of reference of being homeless short term. Living in that boarding house and the madness that ensued living in that boarding house. To reflect back on. There are many people, fortunately for them, they've never had to endure that type of hardship. So they don't have that type of mental ammunition to keep going when things get janky or start to go sideways. So it could be a daunting proposition for them to try to right the ship when they've never had to go through that type of stuff. So another thing about this game, when you're wanting to do something different, Ask yourself, what's the worst possible thing that can happen? Then create a plan to combat the worst possible thing that can happen. And you would be shocked at how calming that exercise would be. Because in your mind, it's no longer like a what if. It's like, well, this happens and this is the counterpunch and this is the plan and this is what I'm going to do. So it gives you confidence. What happens with many, many people is... And I've said this many, many times, manage your money or your money's going to manage you. That is one of the biggest reasons so many people can't do something differently. Sometimes getting laid off and kicked out of your comfort zone can be the best thing for many people. And I say for many and for many, it can be horrible because they may crack up. They may develop mental illness. They may become depressed. They may develop a substance abuse problem. That's not good. But... What I want you to do is play this game, then go over your budget and make similar choices that you had to make to be successful in the game. Make those same choices in your budget. Trim the fat, get rid of stuff because, you know, I want you to be successful. I, I really do. And trying to solve problems with the same level of thinking that got you into that situation is not going to work. A many safety nets, many... We, just, we live in a very forgiving society still. It used to be more forgiving. Just a lot of things that 
you could do like a lot of people don't know at one point you could file uh, bankruptcy to get rid of the income taxes can't do that anymore can't do that with uh, used to be able to do it with student loans can't do that anymore so there are certain decisions that you make if you don't handle them properly they will dog you forever and you have to look at the long term here you, you gotta you gotta really 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 think long term because this thing that's that's here i'm not you know i'm not even gonna say it's coming i'm gonna say it's here and it's right now uh in the infancy it's about you know maybe a foot tall and it's gonna be about a 10 footer maybe even a 20 footer it's gonna be really really tall you've got time to maneuver and prepare for this stuff because it's the best of times and it's the worst of times for some people and it's all and they're on the same block it's just a matter of perspective it, it really is a matter of perspective because i was looking at some things when i was watching those recession videos and what people were going through and it's 2013 for another four weeks there are many people who are still going through the thing they went through in 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. And there was this wonderful video where this guy who is like the head of the Department of Labor in Connecticut, he came up with this program and essentially he got these people thinking differently. That that's, goes back to the mindset. <laughs> it goes back to mindset. Just to be succinct. You can have all of the resources, everything that you need to be successful, and your, your mindset's wrong, and that kills everything. It, it kills everything, knocks it to the side, just totally, totally kills everything. So understand, mindset is monumental. And that's why I really want to urge you to play the game. Go ahead and donate some money. I mean, five bucks, come on. You can do five bucks. And just see what can happen when you make the right choices because it is like amazing all of the things that are going on right now it is just totally totally amazing because when i started here on um, youtube 2009 i had no idea this was going to come on you know i've always studied the economy but i never really thought about these new changes and how things were going to keep going I, I you know I, I was always about creating my own economy but i wasn't really keyed in on the disruptive economy the way that i am now because there's so many tools there's so many things that are part of the economy that i use for my business and uh, you can use them too that's the thing a lot of people are really really afraid to do something different to kind of step up mentally i'm not gonna say step your game up i'm gonna say step up mentally because that fear and part of that fear is you're gonna lose stuff people work harder not to lose stuff than they work harder to gain stuff that's something i learned in the storage auction business and it is crazy it never occurred to these people to sell this stuff but it occurred to them to get a second job to pay a bill to actually double and triple pay for stuff that they already bought for bought or worse i know for a fact some of the stuff that was in these storage units that i bought was bought with credit cards so they're paying for it on the credit card they're paying for the storage rental fee do you understand they're working harder not to lose than they work harder to gain if you can reverse that thinking you can become tremendously successful like you know people the thing with the mortgage thing uh, I think and some people may disagree with me there were some people if you sat down and looked at the numbers because I, I know someone that did this he was making good money and his house went two hundred fifty thousand dollars underwater and he's like you know what I'm gonna he's like, I'm gonna make the hit I'm gonna take the hit I'm getting out the sucker he called the bank <laughs> let him know threw the keys in and uh he did the math he said for you know he stopped paying 
He said, seven years. Because the thing is, it's like, it's going to be a foreclosure and all this other stuff. And he said, it'll be on my credit report for seven years. Fine. I'll live with it. Because the kind of money I make, I can probably pay cash for a house in two or three, not this house, but some house, and just move on. And a lot of people are making those decisions. They're like, you know, they're, they're I mean, so many people liquidated their 401ks to pay the mortgage. And I'm not saying they were bad people or they made a bad decision in the grand scheme of things because we all have to live with our decisions. But there was always this thing that was going to get better. And when it never did, many of these people lost money that it took them a lifetime to accumulate in a matter of months or just a few years. And that is scary because in their mind, it took me four decades to accumulate this money that went in two or three years. That sets the panic button on high alert. I mean, you forget DEFCON 4, DEFCON 10. It's like, how can I? What am, I mean, that's a lot of worry. And the financial vehicles that were in place back then, they're not in place anymore. Things don't work like that. So understand, you, you have to learn how to want to get new things as bad as you want to hold on to certain things. Because I've seen it in so many situations where people just hold on. I mean, white knuckle holding on to stuff that they would be better served, in my opinion, just my opinion, to just let it go. So play the game. Post your results. I would love to see a lot of people making 30 days because that would be the straight up hustling mindset right there. And just, you know, just have this conversation because if you can do this in real life, when you don't have to, it will give you an incredible advantage going forward. All right, this is Glendon, and I'll see you on the good side.